Okay, so hello and welcome back. So in this video, we will continue with question number two. So essentially the exercise, exercise 1.1, question, question two. And you want, essentially in this exercise, you want to place commas correctly and uh, write numerals. So for example, the the first the first uh, essentially part of this question is 73 lakh part a is 70 3 lakh 75,000 75,000 307 okay now um the 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 number has been given in words and you want to write it in numerals and in order to do that essentially um of course you need to know the place values and it's it 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 wouldn't it wouldn't it would be a good idea to um to actually do the the table over here <coughs> so to, to to do the table if you can do the table from memory that that's 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 of course very good but in case you can't do that you can go for essentially you can essentially make it essentially a dummy number like for example zero 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 and then zero zero so this would be essentially thousand that would be like that would be crore for example so for example would put this would be a, a 10 crore right so this is this is essentially the ones and tens and and hundreds and then this would be essentially thousand and this would be like and this would be crore right so which means that essentially your table becomes something like this so you have the you have the ones place value you have the tens place value you have the um the hundreds place value you have the thousands place value you have the 10,000 place value, 10,000 place value. You have the, um, the like and 10 like. And then you have the crore and 10 crore. Right, so that's essentially that's essentially the the place values in your number, and um, and then um, of course let me take a look here. Okay, so now in writing your number, uh, basically there is there is always a part that, for example, when you're dealing with uh, for example, when when you have a when you have essentially the lack in your number, so there is the word lack and there is some number that comes before it, right? So of course when you see the word lack, that means that essentially you're either doing something over here or doing something over here, because that is essentially the lack and that is the ten lack, right? Now, 
this essentially this part of the number which is 70 73 lakh right if it was for example it, it was 3 lakh of course then uh, meaning that if the number goes from 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh 4 lakh 5 lakh 6 7 8 all the way up to 9 right all the way up to 9 the digit comes of course over here but then it when it becomes essentially a 10 lakh 11 lakh 12 13 14 15 16 17 and so on and so forth all the way up to 99 lakhs and then after after essentially 99 lakhs you would have you would have a crore and then after 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 essentially um then you go from one crore to three four five six all the way up to nine nine crores and then you have one arab and then after the arab you have the carab and so on and so forth right so when when there is essentially in this number there is 73 that means that essentially in this number there is the ones place value and there is the tens place value so this is the tens place value this is the ones place value but then when you say for example three lakhs you have only the ones place value which means that your number comes over here so now since the number is 73 lakhs i have to write the seven over here and then the three over here right and then the same explanation the same ex explanation applies to for example thousand so you have for example the word thousand over here and you see over here these two place values are related to thousand so you have thousand and ten thousand so now you have 75,000, 75,000, right? So you see this number has a ones place value, tens place value. The ones place value comes over here, the tens place value comes over here. So that's simple. Now then after basically the thousand part of the number, then there is the, then there is the, the, the essentially the, the simple number that you have for example the there is a there is a number for example like 750 there is the ones place value tens place value and hundreds place value which is this part over here this part this part and this part and of course not exactly 750 this was just an example now 307 307 essentially um 307 is an, is is um, you have to be for example careful with these numbers so that's 307 so 300 means essentially 3 times 100 and a 7 is just a 7 and so of course then the tens place value has no value essentially so that means that you have to put zero over here right and of course um, a better explanation for this part for example would be for example let's say that you have the word this 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 number over here is a 300 right then after 300 for example after if you want if you count after 300 you would have 301 302 303 for example 303 would be this number 304 and for example 305 and 306 and 307 so 307 is nothing but this is, is nothing but the 300 and you add 7 to it which means that essentially the tens place value has not been filled yet so you have to go all the way up to 308 for example 309 and once essentially you get to 309 then if you add one to this then essentially this place value over here becomes a 10 the carryover goes to this place value so then, then this becomes a one this becomes a zero so then after 309 you have we have a 310 but then 307 means that 
essentially that 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 simply means that essentially the tens place value has not been filled yet so then you have a zero over here of course right and um, so that that's essentially your number so you have 73 lakhs 75000 and 307 so that's 73 and of course in this in this system of numeration you have three digits here and the comma and then you have two digits and the comma so the thousands are separated by as just one group the lags are separated as just one group the crores are separated as one group so essentially you have three digits over here two digits over here two digits and two digits that's the indian number of numeration right so you have 73 comma 75 comma 307 right so that's essentially your your your, your first number now the second number is um, 9 crore 5 like 41. So the second number is 9 crore 9 crore 5 like 9 crore 5 like 41. So that's that's the number that you have. Now how do we how do we write this number? So this is this there is a one over here, right? Now about this number again basically you have the crore part, you have the lag part, and then there is the the the, the end part of the number, which is essentially this part over here, which deals with the hundreds place value, the the, the tens place value and the ones place value. So now you have nine crore, right? So this number nine is just is just a nine, meaning it's not something like twenty nine. If it was a twenty nine, it had a, it would, it it would have a, essentially a ones place value, tens place value, which would which would mean that for example you would write it as for example twenty nine. The 20 would come essentially in this under this column the 9 would be under this column but this number over here but this number over here the 9 is just the ones place value so so you have to of course put it over here now the next part is the is the lag part so the lag is again 5 lags so there is there is only five lakhs so this remains empty and of course remember that you know that in the end of the in the in the middle of the number wherever there is an empty essentially empty um, uh, tile like this an empty part like this of course you have to fill it with a zero right and the, and then a 41 would be uh, uh essentially the you see that the thousand part is actually missing meaning that there is no thousands so i put a zero over here i put two zeros over here and 41 is just a 41 meaning that the um hundreds place value is again zero and then a 41 over here so then your number essentially becomes your number becomes essentially this so that's um and then of course you have to take care of the commas as well so that's nine comma zero five comma zero zero comma zero nine one that's nine crore five lakh nine forty one of course this is supposed to be a four not the nine but the four forty one right nine crows five legs 41 right okay so that's that's all about that the third part of this question which is part c 
So the third part is basically the number is uh, essentially seven crore fifty two lakh uh, seven crore fifty two lakh twenty one thousand twenty one thousand three hundred two. Three hundred two, right? Now, of course, I need to add. This is exactly how it essentially the number has been written in the text, meaning seven crore fifty two lakhs twenty one thousand three hundred two, right? But I should add. I should mention that technically this is not the right, the correct. English essentially the correct English way of writing numbers basically meaning that the number actually is supposed to be written as 7 crore is fine there is no problem but then 52 lakhs you have to write it as 50 and then a hyphen 2 lakh for example and then for example 21,000 so 21,000 you're supposed to write it as 20 hyphen 1 then thousand this way okay so if you ever want to write an examination in some essentially in 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 some place where you're supposed to 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 use absolutely correct english of course you know that your numbers you have to write them this way otherwise people will get will, will, will get confused and then basically and then essentially there is 300 for example 21000 so we already talked about this 302 is fine meaning that that's actually the, the way that you're supposed to write this 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 part of the number correctly Meaning that if you have a number which is which is greater than a hundred, for example, one hundred and thirty three, the number for example one hundred thirty three, you would write this as one hundred and and the and I, I, I talked I, I, I told you about the and is supposed to come over here and and then 30 hyphen 3 okay so that's for example or if you want to write for example something like 879 879 you would write this as 800 and 79 so 70 and then hyphen and then the nine over here okay so the essentially what what happens here is that all of the ands and the hyphens and everything they have they have actually forgotten about them but i mean if you were to write the numbers correctly you would you 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 actually you need to write the numbers this way okay but then this part is okay there is no problem with this part okay so now um what we have here is that is the number is essentially seven crore so seven crore essentially goes you're you're dealing with crore and it's just the seven so the seven you put it over here and then you have 52 lakhs so 52 lakhs and then 21,000, 21,000, 302, 302 would be 302, right? So then your number becomes 7, 5, 2, 2, 1, 302. So that's uh, 7 crore, 52 lakhs, 20, 1302 right so that's essentially how you write this number 752 the next part of this question 
is basically the next part of this question is 58 million this is part d of the question is 50 58 million 58 million 423,000 423,000 So you have fifty eight million four hundred twenty three thousand four hundred twenty three thousand and uh, two hundred two two hundred two right so how do you write this number? So this number, of course, it has nothing to do with the with the Indian essentially system of numeration. It's the it's the international system, and in the international system, I talk about it one more time because uh, we haven't actually talked about this before. So in the in the in the in the international system of numeration, essentially, what happens is that um basically you have number a number like for example let's say that you have three zeros here three zeros here and then three zeros here and then let's say that that's a that's a billion right so for example that's a 10 billion and um so the number is essentially the the place values that you have are essentially done this way meaning that for this for essentially for this part over here this is the ones the tens and the hundreds place value so that's the ones the tens and the hundreds place value right then after that you have these these three essentially these three digits that's essentially the thousands place value, ten thousands place value, and a hundred thousands place value, right? So that's a thousands place value, uh, uh, ten thousand and a hundred thousand place value. So that's a thousands place value, and then you have the ten thousand place value, and then you have the hundred. You have the hundred thousand place value. Hundred thousand place value, right? Next, you have essentially the, this three part over here, which is essentially the million, right? So you have the comma over here. You have the comma over here. The comma comes over here. The comma comes over here. And this is the one million. This is the ten million. And this is the um. 100 million right so that's a that's the million that's the 10 million that's the 100 100 million right and then of course you can just keep going with this with essentially you can just keep going and then for example when it comes to this part this is the billion so the, essentially the first digit you have three digits over here the first digit is the billion. The second digit is the t is the ten billion, and the third digit is the is the hundred billion, right? So that's essentially how the how the how the international system of numeration the number works, and so you have basically three digits here, three digits here, three digits here and three digits here and you just keep going with the three digits in the first three digits you have the ones the tens and the hundreds place value for example some some number like for example 576 that comes exactly over here then you have the 
the, then you have the thousand, the ten thousand, and the hundred thousand place value. For example, one hundred twenty-six thousand. These three digits come exactly over here. So that's a hundred twenty-six thousand. That's a hundred thousand. That's a twenty thousand. That's a six thousand. That's exactly these values, these digits. And then you have the you have essentially these three digits over here. You have the million, the ten million, the hundred million. For example, one hundred twenty-five million. So you have six digits over here. These are the six digits, and then the three digits. These three digits would come exactly over here. So that's a hundred million. That's a twenty million. That's a five million, right? So that's a million, ten million, hundred million. And then again, after that, you have the billion, and then you have the trillion, and so on and so forth. Okay? So that, that's all about that. Now, if you want to write, essentially, the, the number that we have is 58 million. So I come, I come essentially over here to the million part and write 58 million. So that's a million and 10 million. So that's a 58 million. And 423,000. 423. That's a 423,000, right? 202. 202 would be 202. So then the number essentially becomes 58 comma 423 comma 202 that's 58423 and 202 that's a 58 million four hundred twenty three thousand two hundred two right the next number that we have is um, basically the next number that we have is part e of this question Part E of the question is 23 lakh, 23 lakh, 30,010, 30,000, 30,010. Right. Now, now about this number, so you have the like part here, and that's 23 lakhs, right? So 23 lakhs comes exactly over here, right? And then the the thousand part is 30,000, so that's the 30,000. And a 10 would be just a 10, so you have a zero over here, right? So you you write the number as basically as twenty three comma thirty comma zero one zero. That's twenty three likes thirty thousand ten, right? Of course, yeah. That's 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 exactly correct. Okay. So that's all about question number two. In the next video, we will talk about the rest of the questions. Thank you.